Hey there, it's Steve from Serious Keto, and in this video we are going to make some whipping siphon guacamole. But before we begin, just a couple of quick notes. First off, to those guacamole purists out there, when I'm normally making guacamole, I use a mocajete. So I get that nice, chunky, authentic guacamole. I mean, you had to have known I own one of these, right? But for this video, we are going to be making a blended guacamole, more of an avocado sauce because we need it to be able to get through the tiny little hole on the whipping siphon, and thus it can't be chunky. Additionally, feel free to modify this recipe any way you want, pretty much. I mean, if you don't like cilantro, don't put cilantro in. If you like more garlic, put more garlic in. If you don't have tomatillos, don't use tomatillos. Do whatever you want in terms of the recipe. If there's something that I think is absolutely critical, besides the avocado, I'll let you know. I'm going to start by roasting a couple of tomatillos that I have dehusked and rinsed. It's up to you if you like that roasted flavor. If you want sort of a brighter flavor, don't roast them. But I need to roast some poblanos anyway for chiles rellenos, so might as well kill two birds with one stone. Start with one ripe avocado. Our two roasted tomatillos, about two tablespoons of diced white onion, one jalapeno stemmed and seeded, one clove of garlic, minced, or a half teaspoon of minced garlic, and the juice of one lime. Blend until smooth. We'll scrape down the sides and add a couple grinds of pepper and a nice three finger pinch of sea salt. And we'll blend again. Now we're going to pass our sauce through a strainer just to catch any big chunks that might clog up the whipping siphon. This step isn't necessary if you don't plan on using a whipping siphon. So you can see all the little chunks that we wound up catching. If any of those chunks would have clogged up the nozzle on the whipping siphon, you would have seen something that looked a little bit like the first time I tried making whipping siphon guacamole. Better grip. Whoa, holy crap. Whoa, holy crap. Yay, holy crap. All right. Boy, that was exciting, wasn't it? So you're gonna wind up with about one cup of this guacamole puree. Then we will transfer our puree into our whipping siphon using a funnel, a spatula, and a little bit of shaking. Once it's all been transferred, we will put on our cap. Then we'll take one cartridge of nitrous, screw it in, and give it a vigorous shake. Now, this is fairly thick, a lot more than whipped cream, so you're gonna have to really put some muscle into it.
Once you've finished your little shake weight workout, we're going to put this into the fridge for probably 15 minutes to a half hour. We've had this in the fridge for about a half an hour. Before we dispense it, we want to give it a couple of really firm downward shakes so that we can get all of the guacamole up into the top because if you hit a little pocket of compressed air, it makes a mess. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. So what we have here is a super light, super fluffy. I mean, it's almost like whipped cream. I know I say this all the time, but wow. It is so light. It is so fluffy yet it just packs all of that flavor. You know, it just occurred to me, I forgot to put the cilantro in this. But not a big deal. That would have just made the whole sieve part take longer. So, you know, chop some up, sprinkle it on the top. It's just hard to get past the fact that the mouthfeel on this is pure whipped cream. It just practically dissolves in your mouth, yet it has the full flavor of guacamole. Now this particular application of the whipping siphon is one of those where I think that probably one cartridge is, is good, two cartridges is probably too much. And you know, at the price of cartridges, I don't know if you want to do two cartridges and then vent a little bit of the nitrous before shaking it up. If you do that, you'll get a really wonderful, thick, maybe a little less foamy sort of texture out of it. But honestly, one cartridge, it gives you that whipped cream, just dissolve in your mouth sort of feel. So in terms of what you might put this on, I think the lightness of the texture would make it go great on fish. Plus with the lime juice and the tomatillo, you really get that bright flavor, that sort of citrusy flavor that would complement fish really well. I think it would also go really great on some chiles rellenos made in a corn dog maker. Hmm? Good thing that's coming up tomorrow. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button, hit that subscribe button, tap that bell next to it so you're notified whenever I release a new video. And thanks for watching.